A lot of supposed medieval torture devices never really existed. They're entirely fictional creations from a more modern time. But some definitely did. They were creative, brutal, and more often than not, fatal. In this series of videos, we're going to look at some of the most gruesome, and we're going to start with the breaking wheel. The wheel is hailed as one of mankind's greatest inventions. It's allowed us to transport heavy objects and travel at high speeds over vast distances. It quite literally changed the world. But despite this revolutionary status, pun entirely intended, the wheel was also used for a much more sinister purpose, to torture and execute people. Being wheeled was split into several distinct activities. Like a lot of medieval executions, the idea was not to make the death quick, but to draw it out as long as possible. The more pain and suffering that was caused, the better. The victim would be tied down, and the large, heavy wheel, sometimes embellished with spikes or blades, would be rolled over or dropped directly onto their limbs. To ensure the bones were sufficiently broken, sometimes lengths of timber would be placed under the victim's arms and legs. The number of times this was done was usually dictated by the number of spokes on the wheel. The next part of the process involved the victim being fastened to the wheel. Sometimes their maimed and broken limbs would be woven through the spokes of the wheel. Once held in place, they would be beaten once more. Some variations of the process would have the victim put out of their misery at this point. But for the worst offenders, they were in for much more. The wheel would be propped up, and sometimes a fire lit underneath. Sometimes the entire wheel was simply tossed onto a fire. However the coupe de grace was delivered, the body was usually left on the wheel for public display, both as a deterrent, but also in some parts of the world because it was thought to prevent the criminal from passing to the afterlife. In the most serious cases, a killing blow was simply never delivered. The condemned was left alive, strapped to the wheel in public for all to see, where they would eventually die from their injuries over the course of the next few days. Records from the time commonly show that people could survive for a few days, but in one instance, in the 16th century, a serial murderer was kept alive on the wheel for nine days before finally succumbing to his injuries. Perhaps the most well-known victim of the wheel was St. Catherine of Alexandria, who was sentenced to be broken on the wheel and then beheaded with a sword for the crime of being a Christian. However, the story would have us believe that it was the wheel that broke and not her. She was, however, then successfully beheaded. In traditional iconography, she's usually depicted with a wheel, which is often broken, as well as holding a sword. This incredible tale is said to be where the Catherine Wheel firework gets its name. Her story is a little unusual, as it was commonly accepted that if a condemned person fell from the wheel, or the wheel broke, it was a sign from God. They would be released, and free to go, if they were able. The breaking wheel was commonly used across Europe and Britain, but the US weren't against its use. In 1712, a failed slave rebellion in New York led to a number of slaves being executed on the breaking wheel for their crimes. Over the next 50 years, execution on the wheel was the punishment for slaves in Louisiana who had rebelled against their masters. In Prussia, it was still being used well into the 19th century. The last recorded use of the wheel as a tool of execution was that of Rudolf Kunapfel in 1841. But by this time, the condemned was invariably strangled quickly before being placed on the wheel and their limbs broken. Thankfully, now the breaking wheel has become something that only exists in history. But in the next video in this series, we'll look at a method of torture that started thousands of years ago and is still in use today.